So we are going to do the integral of 2x sine of x divided by cosine cubed of x dx. Now if we just had the integral of sine x over cosine cubed of x, that would be pretty easy because we can just substitute that bottom of cosine x and use sine x as our du. The thing that's really bothering us in this integral right now is the x that we have right here before the sine x. So if we could deal with the x separately from that trig integral, then that would make our job a lot easier. And that's exactly what the strategy of integration by parts allows us to do. So let's see how that would work out. If we find something to differentiate and something to integrate. We know that we can integrate sine of x over cosine cubed of x. And on the other hand, we can definitely differentiate 2x. In fact, differentiating that is going to help us out because we know the derivative of x is just going to give us 1. So that just becomes a constant and it's very easy to deal with. In this case, if we have our plus minus along the side, again, differentiating 2x will just give us a 2. And then we have to integrate on the side sine of x over cosine cubed of x dx. Like we said before, in this case, we can just substitute u equals cosine x. And then du is going to be negative sine of x dx. If we plug all of this in, we'll get that this equals the integral of, on the top, sine of x dx is going to be, if we move this negative to the other side, a negative du. So we can put that on the top, and then we'll divide by u is our cosine x, and then cubed. We can rewrite this as negative the integral of u to the negative 3 du. If we integrate this using the power rule, that will give us negative u to the negative 2 divided by negative 2. Of course, those negatives are going to cancel out, and we'll just get 1 half times 1 over u squared. u is cosine x. So we get 1 over cosine squared of x. That's going to be what we put right here. So we'll have 1 half 1 over cosine squared x. Now we can plug all of this into the di setup. So first we're going to have 2x times this. Notice the 2 and the 1 half are going to cancel out. So we will just get x over cosine squared x. And then we'll have a minus. 2 times 1 half is again going to go away. We have the integral of 1 over cosine squared x dx. And this part, when we integrate 1 over cosine squared x, the trick is just to notice that 1 over cosine squared x is exactly the same as secant squared x. And to integrate secant squared x, we just have to use our standard rules. We know the integral of secant squared is just going to be tangent x. So that means our final answer is x over cosine squared x minus tangent x plus c. So this is a pretty simple example of integration by parts where we know we have this x we want to differentiate to get rid of and we have a trig expression that we can integrate. But it's important to keep these kinds of simpler strategies in mind for when we get to more advanced examples. Because oftentimes those integrals are going to end up having hidden elements in them that allow us to use this kind of strategy. It's just going to require a little more poking around in order to find them. So that is our answer.